Well, hello, my beautiful Cancerians. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your career and money reading for mid-October right through to mid-November 2024. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about pretending to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings and I will never reach out to you personally to offer one. Also, I will never ask you for money, e-gifts or donations. So if anyone masquerading as me asks for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam. Okay, let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. beautiful Cancerians, this is your career and money reading. I'm going to get all of your cards first before I connect to an outcome. So let us begin. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Going Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Cancerians? What do they need to know regarding their career sector? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of regarding their finances, their money, what is coming their way? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of right now? Now, I'm scrying at the same time as doing your reading, and I'm picking up an energy where... It's beneficial for you to remain quiet about your plans right now because I'm seeing a confidentiality breach, okay? Yeah, depth. Keep it to yourself, okay? Um, now, I feel... You know, I, I feel it's not malicious, okay? I just feel it's someone really bumbling in their energy and uh, I would say... You know, if you've got plans to leave a company, for example, don't tell anybody. Just, you know, let them know when you're leaving. If you are exacting a new idea, for example, about to launch something, keep it to yourself until it's launched. Working hard in silence is really beneficial for you right now. Just because I feel, um, you know, I just get an energy of someone spouting your business okay so just watch out for that uh so let's move away from the energy i don't often get like gossip or that kind of energy come through but it did hit me straight away when i opened up your reading so i have to mention it there now for the rest of you uh looking at your overarching energy right now i feel like you are submerging yourself in your tasks and responsibilities i feel it's really hard i do see as well that some of you are really frustrated at this time about something i feel like you're running on empty and I feel for some of you there may have been a lack of resources recently or support and there's someone in particular or something that has made you feel frustrated to the point of anger okay so uh, you know you got the fury bushfires there so I feel there could be some conflict that you've been uh, going through I would say that it's really important to recognize that holding on to this anger whilst anger is like a positive emotion because it lets every part of your body know that something needs to change, something isn't right, okay? That's why we get that sense of frustration or anger. But holding on to anger, not very good for you, okay? So I feel a lot of you channeling healthy energy, excess energy as well, out through like exercise or, um, you know, into your projects, into your passions. So I feel like you have a fire in your soul and I really get this sense that a lot of you, because of the circumstances, maybe you're doing you know, something repetitive and you feel a little bit unmotivated, you're looking for that spark to reignite that um, you know, lust for your career. Even though you may love what you do, I feel uh, a lot of you, there's, yeah, look at that Queen of Cups. You do kind of love what you do with that Queen of Cups, but I feel this is about doing something that you love, but also it being frustrating in some way. Um, I feel also you're putting a lot of effort into your circumstances and you feel there needs to be some changes or something you're not quite happy with. Yeah, Three of Cups, it's a support. In the resistance position, you may feel there's no support in your industry or you may feel like you're a little bit alone. Uh, you may also feel um, that perhaps someone is coasting 
there's a restless energy about somebody in your career environment. Even if you're an entrepreneur and you have people working for you, you may feel like someone is coasting. So some of you may actually have a meeting with that person um, and kind of like pull them up on it a little bit. Maybe try to inspire them to care a little bit more about what they do um, and put a little bit more effort into it. Um, but also I feel for some of you, this is more about you kind of like feeling that you're putting so much work in and that you go unnoticed or you feel that you're not recognized for your skill set in some way and you're trying to move forward. A lot of you, because you've got progression cards at the end here. So I feel like there is something coming in that shows that you are making progress in your career. There is movement forward. I feel like there is something new here. It's feeling like a new project, something you're going to love. So it could be that you're changing a way of working or maybe taking on a new client or perhaps there's a new project coming in new way of doing something and you're going to find it more beneficial. It's going to ease up whatever it is that you've been doing. And some of you are actually getting an opportunity coming in. You know, I see a new role opening up for you and I feel it's more money. So there is a trajectory of more finances here, which is really exciting. Um, now, I also want to address some of you who've just come to this reading and you are currently out of work. You're looking for a new role. Maybe you've been putting uh, a lot of effort into finding it. I can see it uh, here that it's very frustrating. The job market, very difficult right now. Hangman energy, you've been waiting a long time. You may even feel like, um, you know, it turned your life upside down in some way, of course. And the Three of Cups, you may feel that... Um, for some of you, you're trying to find work without an agency, uh, but I feel some of you could actually benefit from finding a job or a role through an agency. I also see that some of you will hear about a role or a job through a friend over the next coming weeks. Ultimately, if you're currently out of work, I see two roles coming towards you, two opportunities for you. One of them is more money. And obviously you're going to take that and you're going to love it. I feel there's a great role coming up for you. So if you're currently out of work, there's a new one coming up here for you. Okay, you'll interview for this. I feel like you'll go in front of a board or a panel of like three people eventually. Okay, or you may have like a one-on-one -on -one with one person and then a meeting with two people. So three in general, and I feel like they're going to love you. Okay, one of them, I want you to be aware, if any of you are going for an interview for a role, there's going to be one person who plays the tough person, someone who is very detached, someone who's giving nothing away. They almost seem very strict. There's like a, an undercurrent of like, I don't know what that is. Uh, it's not anger, but it feels very much like... Um, they're unreadable and you are someone who is very intuitive. You tend to read body language really well, but this person they're going to give nothing away and you may feel a little bit deflated after having an interview with that person. Conduct yourself as you normally would. Be your wonderful self. Your wonderful skill set speaks for itself. You're very talented, very gifted, but also I would say just be very professional. Be you because this is going to impress this person because they want to see, it's like they're testing you. They want to see what you're like under pressure or if you came up against a difficult client or someone who is rude, okay? Now, I hate to give that message, but that's something that's coming through here. So if you do encounter someone like that, even if you're an entrepreneur and you know you come across a person who is like super rude, I would say you're not letting them away with it. I feel diplomatically, you're kind of like talking them down, being very professional. And the way you deal with this, because you're valuing who you are and you're not accepting that sort of behavior, but at the same time, you're conducting yourself in a very sort of efficient and kind of, uh, yeah, I would say just professional way. And this impresses the person. So if you're going for an interview, I feel this is a test. Okay, and you're going to pass that test. You're going to get the job is what I see there. But I just thought I'd mention it because it'll be beneficial. A lot of you may feel that this person's like being a jerk. Okay, and thinking what? And then it may change the mood of the interview. But if you realize actually they're pushing your buttons to test you to see if you lose your cool. Okay, um, I feel... Yeah, you're, you're going to breeze the test. You're going to be fine. But I thought I'd just mention it there. And for the rest of you, there could be some like micromanaging. If you work for a company, there may be like a boss or someone who's in a position of authority who has extra pressure on them right now. But I feel they may be being extra tough on you at the moment. And it could be because they're testing you for a new role or position that's coming up. But of course, don't stand for bad behavior. Some of you, if you feel this person is really crossing a line and not accepting 
reporting that behavior, I would say go to a governing body, HR, something like that, but always write everything down so you have proof of time, date, what happened, what was said, what was done, and you know, you can present like a professional case for this situation okay so with a lot of respect i'm going to move away from this energy um let's start with your starting card that was a lot that came through just before i even started your reading but this is of course you submerging yourself in the details of your working environment i feel like you're going to be super focused very goal oriented you're making a lot of progress a lot of headway also see that in november there's a quicker pace Things are going to be super fast paced, so get super organized because I feel like you're going to be ready for this pace there as well. Now, this is number 31. When you reduce it, of course, three plus one is four, which is about solid foundations. I feel this is about you not taking the quick route, okay? I feel like you've committed yourself to something that is going to be very rewarding, but I also feel that, you know, um, for some of you, you may need to make a decision on a new opportunity that's coming in, or some of you are actually applying for a new role because we have the Page of Pentacles, which is to apply your energy or study, perhaps, maybe upskill in some way, but there's money news coming your way, okay? New money, I would say, because Page of Pentacles going to a Knight of Pentacles, that is either a bonus or some sort of pay increase or new money coming in. Now, uh, I would say depth. This is about you having a lot of knowledge. Uh, you're someone who basically, you're very intuitive in your role, but also you have the wealth of knowledge to back it up. When you get this card, it can also indicate something isn't as it seems, okay? And that's why I said just be a little bit mindful about keeping your projects and your endeavors to yourself at this time because there could be a confidentiality breach which you will be a little bit frustrated or more than angry about of course um, so just watch out for that but also I feel this is about submerging yourself in your goals and dreams okay to build something really solid some of you may also feel a little bit lonely or isolated in your working practice because we do have a three of cups which feels like somehow because it's in the resistance position that you're on the outside looking in in some way but you may have felt like you had to detach from a group of people because you feel that um, by connecting to them in some way it maybe they gossip or something, bad gossip, or you just don't want to involve yourself in something in the working environment. This could also be a group of people in your industry that maybe give your industry a bad name if you're an entrepreneur. I feel like you're not associating yourself with someone or something because you want to focus on what's right for you, your goals, your dreams. You're just keeping your head down, and I feel like you're working really hard to make whatever it is that you do work. It's going to be different for everyone, of course, because you're all doing something different there. But also the lake, it's, a, it's an energy of like being contained, okay? Um, I mean, I do get a sense here that you want to be a little bit more in the flow or make progress, but right now you may feel like you're in like a suspended position or you feel that something has plateaued in some way. You're doing the same old thing, just a different day. But do remember that anything repetitive means you're a pro at what you do. It means that you are someone who has mastered your craft in some way and that you are very gifted and talented. Now, we do have the page, so some sort of news being delivered to you in the next six weeks. I see two, three, wow, I see three major points for you in the next six weeks regarding your career, and three of these things are very positive. Uh, page of Pentacles, it normally means uh, some sort of news on the job scene, um, maybe something that you intuitively felt was occurring is going to come to light. Now, I do see a merge happening here, okay? Um, so it could be that the company you work for is merging, or if you're an entrepreneur, you've thought about merging with uh, a brand, perhaps, or um, some of you, it doesn't have to be like a direct merge. It could be that you're an entrepreneur, maybe you are a social media influencer, for example, and there is uh, a company that has like a some sort of tool or kit or brand and they think you know what you're awesome we would really love it if you could advertise our brand for example so it could be that uh, I see some sort of collaboration energy going on in and around your working environment and for some of you with the hangman and the bushfires energy I feel um, that I mean I feel like to some degree you feel it's kind of like 
positive because it means that there's a lot of security in the working environment. However, I feel there's also a level of uncertainty for some of you feeling like, how is this merge going to go? I mean, ultimately, I see it being really positive for you. Okay, so I want you to be aware of that. But if you're given any new contracts assigned, please make sure you read all the fine print. If there's anything you're not happy with, maybe try to negotiate a better deal because anything that's signed now will, of course, nullify anything that you've worked really hard to have in the previous kind of like contracts, right? Even if you're staying in the same role. So very important to remember that. But this is your protagonist energy. So this is about you kind of like offering up new ideas to transform your finances. So it could be that you're thinking about launching something or even studying something, applying. I mean, this is a card to apply. So a lot of you may be applying for roles or applying for promotions or applying for a course of study in order to up skill in some way, but also to level up to the next pay grade there as well. Um, now, a lot of transformation around your money so I'd say that, you know, you're starting with a certain amount of money, you are going to be able to save. But also I see a lot of you, um, I mean, some of you, not all of you, but some of you may have put on hold, like going out to parties, events, or hanging out with people, because I feel like you may have like a, a savings goal that you want to reach. But I do see you being able to go out and enjoy yourself, of course, and enjoy your money as well. And I do see you reaching a savings target. So if you're trying to purchase something, um, I would say, um, mm, thank you so much. I'm so grateful. Now, I hate to give this message, but if you are um, thinking about purchasing something, especially real estate, I feel there's an energy here of two things. One is to wait because the price will go down. But also I feel in the wait comes competition. Okay. And of course, you're going to go for the property that you want. But I feel the universe may try to align you with an alternative property that is lower in price and actually nicer than the one you kind of like already. So uh, I know that's uh, aside from career and money, but it's just come through. So I have to mention it. Okay, so uh, obviously do you you're going to get the best deal, but I see something going lower if you're trying to purchase. Okay. Um, yeah, so let's leave it like that. Now, that page of pentacles, it means you're working really hard. You're committed to your goals and dreams. I feel like you're actually going to see some evidence that your hard work is paying off. This will come in the form of a bonus raise or some sort of financial incentive and uh, possibly even like this promotion energy because I feel it's like a step up the ladder. Okay, but it may feel like it's a stepping stone to the next stage that you want to be at. Okay, so uh, that's what I'm feeling from this energy. But also I see a lot of you putting your resume out there, moving up a grade where you are at, but also putting yourself out there applying for something where you can earn more money. So I feel like you may have to make a choice at the middle of November, for example, as to whether you stay where you're at or whether you take a new opportunity. The choice, of course, will be yours. Both will lead to progression, but in different ways. So either choice that you make, it will be in alignment with your heart's desire. It just depends on whether you want a new scenery or a new start or a new challenge or whether you want to stay where you're at and just grow through the role that you're in. Um, because I feel... Uh, for some of you, there's going to be a little bit of tension in the middle of the month. I've got to be honest, if you're in a position right now and it's long term, I would say there may be someone who's going to push your buttons. OK, and I feel like you're going to have to like I just get an energy of you biting your tongue and walking away from whoever this is. This is someone who is known to be quite destructive, self-sabotage energy, whoever this person is. Um, it may even be someone who is a boss, keeping an eye on people, trying to control them, or it feels like this person is projecting, like they're not doing anything, but they're projecting on other people to kind of distract so um, it could be someone, I just feel someone who's not pulling their weight. And in order to disguise that, they're kind of like keeping their eye on other people, almost like, don't look at me because I'm looking at them. They're not doing something, but really they're not. Okay. So there's something about that, but either way, I feel like you're remaining focused. You're doing what you need to do for your 
career right now and I feel like you're going to be very productive. Um, the Queen of Cups is also self-care in the working environment. The Queen of Cups is also a Cancerian card, so I feel like you're doing what is right for you. But a lot of you are dreaming of being your own boss. If you're not already, I definitely see you becoming your own boss, launching something. Um, and if you are an entrepreneur already, I feel some of you there is an energy, especially if you're a freelancer or if you are someone who deals with clients. I feel there is one client, and again, I hate giving this message, one client who may delay a payment. You'll get it, but it may cause frustration, okay? And you may have to chase this person, um, but they will pay up. This person is having a few financial difficulties. I mean, you're someone who's very understanding. And if they just came to you and said, look, this is what the deal is, right? But if they honored a date or told you where you stood, I feel like you'd understand it a little bit more. Um, but uh, I feel this person, there's an energy here of maybe being a bit cautious about doing business with this person again after they pay. Just watch out for that. Um, of course, I feel if you uh, want to help this person, go for it. But be aware that if they've like, reneged on one payment for a little while okay it's going to happen again okay so I just got to give that message there um, but they will pay up eventually it'll always be delayed though for the next coming weeks and months I hate to give that message but it's there so I have to honor it and with a lot of respect I'm going to move away from that energy because I don't like to see anyone of course reneging on any payments but uh, I feel this person is struggling maybe because you have the queen of cups there especially if you're an entrepreneur it could be that you find a way to negotiate a deal for this person and offer some sort of service or help but maybe it's like at a different cost but a different service if that makes sense I don't know I'm not really sure what I'm getting here I gotta be honest with you it's almost like I'm being given a very vague energy. So maybe that's how you're feeling about it if you're going through this already. Uh, but I'm going to move away from that. Queen of Cups, this is about being in the flow of your creativity. It's also about recognizing that you are a gift in the working environment, okay? You're making your dreams become your reality. And I feel like you're wanting to be in an environment that encourages you. But you may feel right now that you're not in an environment that nurtures your growth or your skill set or encourages you, you may feel that you're just walking into work or doing whatever it is you do and you go unnoticed in some way. But actually, I feel you are an integral member of the team. But if you're not feeling that way, because your heart has to be in it, I feel a lot of you are applying for roles elsewhere, okay? Now, of course, deep down, this does indicate, because this is the deep down position, it indicates that you kind of love what you do, okay? It just may be the environment or some of the people that you don't gel with and you can't choose kind of those people or you can't choose the environment. Unless you're an entrepreneur, of course, it could be that you're... Um, noticing that someone is causing a bit of trouble and you're thinking about the best way to address it. Uh, you know, water puts fire out. So I would say you're going to find a solution. Uh, there may be a critical point where you have to address it. You can't ignore it anymore, but it will be resolved. So any problems you have in the working environment right now, essentially, whether you work for yourself or you're an entrepreneur, I see you solving it okay and things are just quietened down and everything will go on as usual also that queen of cups can indicate that you know um you're very emotionally um attached to the working environment okay and that whilst that's wonderful because it means that you give your whole heart and soul to your goals and your dreams i feel like some of you are learning more about finances and also understanding that you know you go above and beyond for whatever career it is that you're in and there should be more money available to you. Uh, a lot of you are thinking about starting positions as well is what I see. So either you're launching an entrepreneurship, becoming your own boss, whether you are someone who is uh, launching a new idea or whether you are thinking about starting a new role, you're going to grow quite quickly in that financially. So if you're offered something or you've just been offered something and you've just taken it, congratulations. I see that you will staircase financially quite quickly. So if it's you working for a company, you may find that actually your status changes a little bit in the next, I would say, in the next four to six months. I feel like you're going to be offered like a new title or new responsibilities, but also an incentive to increase your finances. I feel there's more money there. You may also be, if you've just started something, you may be surprised to find out that roundabout bonus time if you're in a company that works 
with bonuses, um, you may find that actually you're given like a small bonus as well. But the bonus will be bigger next year, okay, is what I see there. Now, if you're launching your own business, I feel like you're putting a lot of effort into it and you are uh, basically starting with a plan and I feel you're going to see the results generate a lot of prosperity and also, of course, more money. You're a doer and I feel like you're getting things done. So whatever tasks and responsibilities you have on your plate, whether you're staying in a role, whether you're an entrepreneur, um, whether you're trying to find alternative opportunities, I feel like you are in the flow of doing and I feel there is an energy here of you being realistic but also dependable and showing up for yourself. You're backing yourself there because of course these two cards are like you're investing in yourself and a lot of you are investing in yourself by the way of like study or gaining new skills. Doesn't mean that you're putting yourself on a course of learning it could be that, you know, uh, there is an opportunity to learn a new skill somewhere or, you know, you may find like a, a YouTube video, for example, of how to do something and it just adds another tool to your kit bag. That's what I'm being given there. Now, of course, we have Fury bushfires, okay? Now, this can be an energy and, uh, you know, I hope I'm not tapping into that, but I feel it. So some of you may be, um, and this is only if you already know this, some of you, if you're in an environment right now where there are some bushfires or some fires going on, firstly, sending you a huge hug out there. Um, I feel, you know, of course, there will be a rebuild and uh, you'll move on from this and it will, of course, be difficult. But uh, if your business is affected by that in some way, it may mean that, you know, you have to wait it out or maybe you have to work from home, for example. This is not going to resonate with everyone, but I know that in some areas in the world right now going through a bushfire, um, I feel uh, it could bring some sort of like disruption, okay? So it could be that you find an alternative way to work during that time. Um, you may actually enjoy that different way of working and it may be something that is implemented long term later on maybe an option for you whether it's working from home or you know maybe there is some sort of move to a different premises or location so please take that as it resonates and with a lot of respect I'm going to move away from the energy just stay safe of course sending lots of love to you all out there if you're dealing with that um now, I'm only honoring that energy because, of course, it's connected to the card. Uh, I wouldn't mention it if it wasn't there in the energy, but also this card can indicate that there is some extreme emotions, okay? Now, of course, you care about your career. You know, you go above and beyond. And sometimes, you know, when something doesn't go your way or there is a disruption or something, it means a lot to you because you're passionate about what you do. So whether you are creative, who works in an industry where you can create things or be artistic in some way, there's always going to be a clash of energy. There's always going to be a creative kind of um, spark, let's put it that way. And even if you're working in an office, I definitely see that this can be a very creative kind of spark or, you know, people, I'm just being given this energy of like, Sometimes we surround ourselves with yes people, but also no people are very important. So they will tell you when an idea isn't going to work or if there is another way of doing something. I feel this is about honoring differences in the working environment as well. Okay, um, so if you've got an idea, and I see it's a really great one here, uh, you may be asking someone that you really care about, is this a great idea? Of course, they'll say yes, but also when they say but... It would be great if you factored this in or that in, or maybe you could tweak that. They're coming from a really good place. They're not trying to rain on your parade. They're actually giving you the honest truth where they see that it could benefit you, okay? That's why I say it's really great to surround yourself with no people as well, because those people are going to say no. You know, it would be better this way, or no, I see it this way. Maybe you could factor that in. Maybe not. Depends on you. I feel ultimately you're going to take your own advice, but do remember when anyone tells you that maybe you could tweak something, maybe there's some advice to be taken there because it only makes things better. Okay, so explore it. Don't knock it. I don't know who I'm talking to with this one, but that's just coming through. So I have to honor that. Um, but uh, when you get this card, it is in the resistance position. So it does tell me that if you have been having conflict with someone in the working environment, I see this person, I mean, there is a period where 
You're going to wait it out. But I see this person either leaving or you do. And if you do, it's on your own volition. It feels like you're making a decision. So if you're leaving a role, I feel it's because you decide to. But ultimately, if you're staying, I feel whoever this person is causing conflict, I see them exiting or being exited from the uh, working environment. And the uh, the environment, let's say, of the working place that you're at, I feel is much nicer. Okay. Uh, but when you get this card, I have to honor the card that's come out there. Uh, this card can indicate that um, something has been very frustrating and I feel like you're going to overcome it. It's number 10, which is Wheel of Fortune energy. Remember, fire is regenerative. Okay. Fire is the creative force. And of course, this is like, don't be frustrated with yourself if you feel like you should be further along in your career because you are making progress. You've got the motion card right there. You're going to see a lot of progress in your career. You're going to see evidence of things taking shape. Your plans are working and you are on target when it comes to your finances. May not feel like it right now, but you're going to see evidence of new money or more money or an increase in your endeavors coming through. And some of you, this could be that you're diversifying on new ideas and you're not sure how it's going to go yet. Maybe it's a slow start to something that you've actually uh, launched and you're like feeling a little bit deflated or frustrated or angry that it didn't work out or isn't doing what you want it to do right now. You're going to see in the next three months that things are going to pick up pace and there is more money here as well. There's an increase in your finances. You're going from a page of pentacles to a knight of pentacles, more money. And the page of cups means, you know, your dream your goal is becoming a reality. Your vision comes to light, but it also becomes something that's real on the earthly plane because you're sticking to a plan and you are resilient. Now, of course, this card, um, when you get it, it also means there that, you know, um, anger, of course, it is a healthy emotion and fury is less necessary. So it's like, don't be tipped to the absolute extreme when it comes to your emotions, especially if someone, because you have a three of cups there, someone trying to push your buttons. Just know that this person, whoever is trying to push your buttons, they're doing it to A, get a reaction, but also B, they want to put you in a certain light, to frame you in a certain light so that they can be seen as someone better or greater or more talented or less volatile in the working environment. So just watch out for that because I feel there is one person and I picked up on their energy right from the beginning. Um, this may be a person who also by accident, because I do feel when there is a breach of confidentiality about something that you're doing, that's why I say keep everything to yourself. I feel that that is not malicious. Okay. I feel that's a, oh, Oh, I've just said that by accident, shouldn't have said that. Because I feel almost like that person, they would want to utilize that information to their benefit. By blurting it out, it means that they've got no power in it, okay? So just be a little bit mindful of that. It feels like a lot of conflict here. But also, I feel when you channel this fire from your own personal kind of power, I feel this is about you empowering yourself and having that creative fire reignite, almost like revamping something or revitalizing your spirits for your career. I feel this is kind of like you being a visionary, being passionate about what you do and it's because you care and you're going to see the conditions of your working environment vastly improve and I see, you know, this energy of you kind of like dealing with something that has been difficult, but overcoming it and being really proud of yourself that you found a solution, you're making progress. It feels like it was a bump in the road. Okay. Uh, now we got the hangman and this can also connect to a missed opportunity or you feeling like something isn't going your way and you've just taken a pause on it. Also, I feel like you don't like to waste your time. Okay. When you get something done, you want to be on to the next thing. You don't want to just hang around and waste your time because that sort of breeds frustration and boredom. So I feel like you're keeping yourself busy. Um, with the hangman, some of you may actually return to some projects or some parts of whatever it is that you do that you put on hold, whether it's like reorganizing your desk or decluttering a filing cabinet or, you know, going through your laptop and just, you know, deleting things that perhaps you don't need anymore. I feel like you're cleaning house with this card, even though this card doesn't mean that. I feel uh, that right now you're kind of like releasing things that, you know, don't have a purpose anymore. 
But also, this is about your sacrifice in your career. You may feel at some point there was one person who tried to get in the way of your progress, but actually they're going to see you rise. Okay, so whoever this person is, I feel like your sacrifices are taking you to the top. More money, more success. And of course, the Knight of Pentacles tells me you work really hard for all the money that you get, but also you're going to be very resourceful with that money and create a really important savings plan. Um, and for some of you, I am being given like a major energy of exit strategy. So it could be that you're thinking about pension time, retirement. Uh, it could be that you're thinking about the due date for that. Um, for some of you, I feel you may have even thought about putting retirement on hold and you're a little bit annoyed about that. Okay, but I do see that when you decide to retire, because it will be your personal um, choice there, I feel like you will have uh, enough money to enjoy it without worry. Okay, so I want you to be aware of that also. Now we've got the three of cups. For some of you, you've been putting a lot of hard work into what you're doing. You're exhausted. You may feel like you have no support. You may have even felt a little bit disappointed with some of the things that are going on in the working environment. And you may have felt that you haven't celebrated something for some time. But anything that's in the resistance position, it will go into the upright, which means there is something to celebrate. And I would say it's at the end of October into November. Okay. And this is something I feel it's an incentive like new money. So whether you're launching a new endeavor, if you're an entrepreneur, it could be a new idea or branching out, diversifying in some way, you're going to see an increase in your money. If you're working for a company, this could be a bonus or it could be a raise. I mean, I feel for some of you, there could be a change in status or more responsibilities given. I feel ultimately you're going to enjoy it, but I also see a lot of you still looking elsewhere to see if you can do something else that you love um, and benefit from it. Some of you, because there's two pages available here in your energy, there's an energy of duality. So you may be doing two things, doing something that's stable and consistent, but at the same time, you're doing something that you love that's creative on the side. And it can be a little bit frustrating and feel a little bit exhausting when you're trying to share your energy with the two things. You're sacrificing a lot of your time and your energy. It will work and things will become easier. Okay. But I would say you need to be a little less harsh on yourself. You tend to be a little bit critical on yourself. I feel like things are going to slot into place and come together as necessary, but there's definitely some good news here uh, coming through. And also I feel for some of you, there's something postponed or rescheduled. You may feel a bit frustrated by that. It could be an appraisal, could be an important meeting, um, something postponed, but I feel it comes in the right time. So don't worry about it. If there's something you're waiting to hear on news wise, I would say no news is good news. I feel it's because people are taking the time and the effort to really invest in whatever it is that you're waiting for. And the outcome will be so positive. You'll celebrate it, whatever it is. Okay. Now we've got motion air. Now the main energy I'm getting from this is a lot of you are going to benefit from online businesses. Okay. So if you're thinking about launching something online, it's going to do really well for you. It's going to pick up pace, maybe slow to start. Got to be honest with you. I see a slow start, but it will start to pick up pace. The more you invest, the more it'll get bigger and bigger. It'll snowball is what I'm being given there. Uh, but for the rest of you, who, of course, who are not working with the internet or uh, working on an online business, I feel this is progression. Okay. So this this is the next stage being offered. Uh, I would say the promotion, it just feels like a stepping stone to the promotion that you want. Okay. I just feel there's like an in, but you're not quite where you want to be when you get that role, but you are on the trajectory to getting to that role. So I feel it is a welcome move. Um, with this card, this is a card of evidence that you're making progress, you're making headway, there's going to be an energy of a faster pace as you're in November. But also this card is number 22. And when you reduce that, of course, that is four. So solid foundations, solid movement, and clearing space for better to come. Um, and of course, this card is also you being in an energy of being flexible, uh, allow yourself to uh, explore all the thoughts and ideas that come on in. But I feel this is about a choice of movement. Okay, I feel this is about you being mindful of where you're at and whether your heart's in where you're at right now. Is there room for maneuver? Is there room for growth in your career? And if there isn't where you are right now, I feel like you're taking yourself elsewhere. Okay. But uh, wherever you go to, again, 
there is thriving and flourishing and more money available to you. Uh, we have the Knight of Pentacles. You may surprise yourself at the end of the month. You've got a little bit more money than you thought, even though you're paying out bills. Um, I would also say, hmm, thank you so much. I'm truly grateful. Um, how can I put that? Like, there's an energy here of a bill coming in that it seems to be a shared bill. Okay, so if you live with roommates or uh, maybe you share the family shop or the bill or something, there's an energy here of someone overspending a little bit too much. Now, they're going to pick up their part of it, but they may try to like share it at first. And you're like, excuse me, no. Uh, so there's something about that. There may be a little conflict in and around a bill. Okay, uh, of course, money should never destroy people's relationships. But sometimes, you know, when the pressure is on, because I see a lot of you under a lot of pressure and you're trying to manage stress levels and make sure that you have healthier working practices, okay? Also, some of you may discover like a health and safety thing at work in the next six weeks. You may address it with someone in a position of authority or if you're an entrepreneur and you notice that if you're hiring a space um, and you're paying for that space and you feel this is a health and safety issue, you'll call them out on it. It will be rectified because, of course, it's important, but it may frustrate you that they're not paying attention to these things. But coming back to the bill, I feel like it will be split fairly. OK, so if someone's overspent, I feel like they will take their portion, but they may try to pull a fast one at first and try and just have the bill shared so that they don't have to pay all of their part of it. So just watch out for that. Oh, that's so random. May not resonate with everyone. I hope it doesn't resonate with anyone, to be honest. But uh, anyway, uh, Knight of Pentacles, this is your hard work paying off and you're careful with your finances. And I feel like this is about you building a solid financial future to live a life of luxury and comfort. OK, now with the Knight of Pentacles, it can indicate that, of course, slow and steady progress. However, the pace is going to pick up somehow. So there may be some extra work going on there. If you work for a company, I feel this could come from some absences in the working environment. And also some of you may see some redundancies in your industry as well, which can cause a lot of frustration, a lot of uh, people to pick up extra work, even though they're not being paid 100% for it. But I feel some of you, well, the majority of you will actually get a small increase in finances, but I feel it's not in alignment with the amount of work that you have to do. So you may be a bit frustrated, but ultimately I see the stepping stone. So there is more to come. Okay. Um, now with that page of cups, uh, this is double good news, something being offered to you. I see so many energies of news being offered like pages they bring news so this is something that you're really going to love this is also an encouragement so some of you um, if you're having an appraisal for example there is an encouraging meeting that is going to happen to highlight that actually you are a valued member of the team um, and also if you're an entrepreneur this could be a note or a gift that you're offered by a client or maybe it's a message from someone who utilizes your services or your goods and it just puts a spring in your step to know that you're doing a really good job because you care you care so much about what you do but also I feel there's something being offered to you they're going to love it's like a dream job opportunity and you're going to grab it with both hands okay now also when you apply a page of cups to a financial reading, even if you look it up online, page of cups means there will be enough money for the things that you need to either pay off or the things that you want in your life. So, you know, don't stress or worry about these things. That's what's coming out there too, okay? Uh, I'm just going to pull a final card before I close your reading. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Cancerians? A lot of you, it's business as usual, but there is some really great news coming on in I'd just say watch heated emotions in the working environment I actually see a lot of you are going to be witnessing it rather than be involved in it okay because I see a lot of you detaching from that in between worlds exploring your options yeah two paths two pieces of news two paths opening up for you a choice needing to be made and we've also got breakthrough okay so we've got between worlds 
So I feel that could be you spreading your time. Don't spread it too thin because you'll be exhausted. Maybe there is like the sense of duality of having two things on the go. One that is something you're consistently kind of investing in, working hard towards, and then maybe something a little bit more creative on the side. Whether it's a side hustle, maybe it's seasonal work, or for some of you, it's like you setting up your own business, becoming an entrepreneur. And it says, there is only one reality that is slowly dying to the one still waiting to be born. Critical stage, the old and the new. Okay, remember I said the fire is regenerative. Could be something is like burning out for you or you just feel like it's come to a close. You've hit a glass ceiling or you feel like there's no room for growth there and you are slowly letting something go you know sacrificing one thing in order to gain something new but as you notice that something your passion perhaps for something is dying out it means it's being reignited for something else so whether that's a new role a new idea a new way of working doesn't mean you have to be leaving a position it can be that suddenly you discover a computer program that helps you do what you do and you see it as a challenge or a game and it helps you with your endeavors for some of you it could be that, you know, old management are leaving and it means new energy is coming through, new ideas. It's a little bit more flexible. People get an opportunity to say their piece or grow in the company. So whatever it is for you, please apply it for your situation. But one thing is certain, you know, as something leaves our life, it means doors open to something else. So I definitely see it's an exciting, transformative time for you. We've also got exploring options, especially if... The between worlds is about merging companies, okay? So you'll be looking at your values and whether they align with the company's merge. Um, it says here, explore new opportunities and look into other options that you may not have noticed before. So maybe that's why I got that yes person, no person energy earlier. Uh, it says choices, opportunities, and refocus. So uh, I definitely see you're going to be totally focused and diligent and determined this month to uh, be on top of your goals. I feel uh, new projects coming in, but basically closing out projects, finishing what you start basically is what I see. And we've also got breakthrough, significant breakthrough happening in your career. I mean, the egg represents new hatching plans or hatching a new role, uh, new growth here. It says a significant breakthrough is near whatever you're going through. It's preparing you for this big break discovery, progress, and big boost. So I would say there's some positive change here, but when we're always in the midst of change, sometimes it can feel uncertain. It can feel a little bit of anxiety around, you know, these transformations or changes, but ultimately they're for your highest good. And I see more money coming towards you in the end, okay? So I'm just gonna go and get some final trinkets. Now, of course, it's not all about money. We need money to pay bills and eat and all of those things and create sanctuary and safety. But I feel with that Queen of Cups, you need to know that you're making a difference. You need to be invested with your whole heart and soul and you need to be in the flow and recognize that you are a gift in your working environment. And if you don't feel that way where you're at right now, I see new opportunities coming in to take you to that place and to the next level in your career. Now, we've also got um, the seahorse, okay? Now, when you get the seahorse, it means going above and beyond, doing something that perhaps other people don't do. Because when you think about the nature of a seahorse, the male seahorse carries the eggs to term, okay? So that's going against the grain of what's typical. So a lot of you are thinking about new radical ideas, revamping something or doing something that's unique, in order to um, stand out from the crowd in some way. I would also say um, promoting your work, very important. You're not the sort of person who kind of shouts about your work, okay? But I definitely see that you would benefit from being confident in your skill set and saying, yeah, this is what I'm capable of. And I'm going to let people know that. Especially if you're in an environment right now where people are trying to take credit for other people's work. I would say stand proud and, you know, basically communicate what it is that you're doing. Some of you may actually be asked in the next couple of weeks to write a list of all the tasks that you do. I would list every single one, even the little itty bitty one that you think, oh, you know what? It's so small. I just do that naturally. List it because it's something that you do. 
It highlights that you go above and beyond. You invest your whole heart and soul. And, you know, this trinket, whenever you get it, it's really about aligning yourself with your heart's desire. This is normally like soulmate energy, but it can also apply in a career scenario of like soul contract energy, doing a job that you love and benefiting from it. Remember, the law of the universe is a fair one. It means what you put out, you should get back, but we must be aligned with our true calling. And I feel this is about you aligning yourself. Also, we have the rabbit or the hare. Whenever you get this connected to a money reading, it is so positive. It always appears in a queen of pentacles, which is all about multiplying wealth. And this is about multiplication. So I definitely see here that you're going to be multiplying your assets or your acquisitions or success here. Um, but also, you know, it's really interesting because I'm being given the tortoise and the hare. It's almost like there's no fast track here because this is a card that's like, do not take the shallow alternative, invest in whatever you do fully and know that there is a certain way of making progress. There's no quick fix here. There's no get rich quick schemes as well. You know, if you're ever presented with one of those, please do your due diligence and make sure that, you know, you've got it in writing before you really connect to any of those things. But that card literally means that. And if you think about the tortoise and the hare, you know, there's an energy of the tortoise wins, you know. So I feel, um, although you're multiplying wealth, I feel even though you think you're making really slow progress right now, you're going to see some sort of boost that comes your way that actually amplifies your progress and sees you win and sees you also multiply wealth there too, okay. So I'm just going to go and get another trinket or rune because my guide said one more random, okay. Oh gosh, we got the wheel connected to the wheel of fortune. Some sort of lucky break coming in for you, okay? But this is all about your direction. That's what this month is about. Next six weeks is about your direction. And it's about steering things the way you see fit. But also there's some extra luck on its way for you there as well. So random, my guides never really asked me to do another trinket. So it was obviously necessary to let you know that yes, things are a little bit challenging right now, but you're about to have a breakthrough and luck is on your side as well, okay? So I'll leave it there. I hope something resonates for you, my beautiful Cancerians. If it does, please like or subscribe to my channel, completely free for you. All you have to do is press that little notification bell, lets you know when I update my next message, lets me know that you resonate with the reading, which is so important for me too. Thank you so much, my beautiful Cancerians, and love and light.